another moment in time with Taylor. I'm confused. This is backwards. I'm, I flipped the phone the other way, so now I'm like, I don't think I'm looking at the camera the right way. But I will try. It looks like I'm looking to the side. I don't like that. Hey, Brennan. Hey, who else just popped in here? Hey, money in the house. What's up? All right, I'm going to flip this over. Well, well, well. What do you mean, well, well, well? See, now I feel like it looks more like I'm looking at you guys when I look at the comments. In the house! Let's do morning pages! I almost forgot to do them today, but I didn't forget because I'm doing them now. And it is 5 18, 17, so get your pen and paper and let's do it. So you want to remember what day you're writing this. Now if you don't know what stream of consciousness writing is, I'll give you a quick recap. My wings are back. You have to keep your pen moving for three minutes straight. Hey, Al. Hey, EJ. EJ, are you still um, with that girl? She was good. That was cool. What was it? Nance in your pants or something like that? <laughs> is that how? Is that what it was? Something like that. Nance pants? Okay, anyway. So, the trick here, I'm going to be giving you a writing prompt, but you don't have to write about what I say. You can write about anything at all. It's an interesting night of broadcast out there. What do you mean, Al? Like what? Thanks for inviting your followers, Brennan. I really appreciate that. Um, so, are we having any trouble with typing for three minutes? Yeah, you could do that. It's a little bit harder because you type faster than you write typically. But the idea is that you just keep on going. If you run out of things to say, just say, I don't really know what to write. Hi, you're here now? You were just here and then you're gone? Hi, hello. I am explaining stream of consciousness writing. Guess what? Chicken butt. No? Yes? Chicken butt? Was it chicken butt? Was I right? You forgot. Wow, that was a uh, very anticlimactic, I have to say. Let me just pull up my stream so I'm not missing comments once we start doing our writing. So that's it. You can write, I don't know what to write. I don't really know what the point of this is. Why are we doing this? Doesn't really matter. The idea here is that you're going, story of my life. You're going to override, and hi Michael, your inner critic and your inner censor. You're just going to write anything that comes to mind. You can even draw pictures if that comes to you, or poetry, rhymes, raps, whatever you're into, that's fine. And when we're going to do three of these for three minutes each, and somebody invite Cyanide because she likes to do these. Nikki Sparkles usually likes to do them too. The purpose of it is to promote creativity. So the idea is from a book called The Artist's Way, written by Julia Cameron. And that is, we are covering that with the Shiny Breakfast Club every single morning, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Thanks for inviting your followers, Michael. So many unhappy, angry people broadcasting tonight. Oh, you're welcome. I'm happy to be here. I'm so glad. Actually, one of my most recent uh, silver sponsors, which is, have I heard of Eckhart Tolle? I have. I haven't read any of his books yet, though. Um, I lost my stream of consciousness. Your stream of consciousness is flawed right now. Oh, because you've been drinking? That's even more fun. That'll More cool things will flow out. Rex, I just choked on your, word, on your name, Rex. <laughs> Uh, Rex in the house, what's up? What's up? I think I explained it right. Let's just get into it. And did, did anyone invite Cyanide? She usually likes to do this, but. ah, he laughed. <laughs> okay. Okay, we already did that one. So, what things do you conscientiously do? I'm actually, it's kind of like a step. You can't see it. Oh my god, you can't see it. Okay, it's a step. Sorry. All right. I'll stop. Yes, I usually do sit on the floor, though, but I also teach yoga, so I feel like it makes sense that I'm sitting on the floor. What things do you conscientiously do to feed your brain? What things do you conscientiously do to feed your brain? I flew down from heaven. I didn't fall, and there's no ants right now. Food? Okay. Food is a good one. And don't start yet, because i got to get my timer going here. Read? I'm not reading yet. I'm going to read after we're done with the Stream of Consciousness writing. PBS Infinite series. If you sponsor my channel, I will cater my show to you. Study Linux? Okay, I will. Meditate? Meditate is good. These are good things. I guess meditate. All right. So I'm starting the timer right now. I'm going to read the prompt one more time. Start writing right now. What things do you conscientiously do to feed your brain? And I'm going to do it too, so I'll be back. Hello, James from New York in America. I'm going to be back with you in three minutes. I will catch all the comments on Egg Drop, 
And let me pull up the timer again. All right, two minutes, 42 seconds. Play video games, nice. Welcome to your first day on Periscope, number person. Thanks for inviting your followers, James. That's awesome, and sharing this out on Twitter. I almost wrote the wrong word. Okay, I'm gonna read your comments after this. I read a new book every week to feed my brain. Hey Jen, my periscope. Oh, you can do pages with us now. We're doing what things do you conscientiously do to feed your brain? Two minutes left. One minute left. You got this. Keep that pen moving. One more minute. Shiny is here, you guys. We were just talking about you. What do you conscientiously do to feed your brain? One minute left. Twenty seconds. Keep that pen moving. You got this. You're almost there. Ten things. Ah. Okay. Character. Wait. What was I writing? Okay. Oh, the timer ran out. I didn't notice. Okay, okay, finish your thought. And when you're done, put your pen down. What I like to do is I like to put a line under what I did. So that way I can kind of separate the different writings from each other. This one was kind of short. Usually I write more. So I'll read mine first. This way you have a time to put some stuff into the chat if you would like to share some of the stuff you wrote down. And what I wrote is, hello, Jairus, I checked out your replay, your porch strumming. It seemed like the connection was funky. I don't know if that was my end or what, but it was, was it a dark scope? I don't know if it was my connection or what. I tried to check it out right before I went live, but. One easy and fun thing I do for that, Taylor's reading and writing scopes. Yay, thank you. It was a dark scope. Okay, cool. Um, I usually don't go into dark scopes just as like a general rule because I feel like it's cheating. Um, but I didn't see that it was, so I kind of popped in there and then popped out. So I didn't actually get to see, but I did actually before that watch one of your replays where it was you singing and playing guitar, and that was really good. Okay, I read a new book every week to feed my brain. I learn new things every day. From Mr. Perfect, from my Periscope family. Oh, and Mr. Perfect is my husband, for anyone who doesn't know. From my blood family, from YouTube, Netflix, Google, Danique etc. You're awesome. I try to be continuously learning. That's one of my major lifetime goals. I would love to learn sign language. I love YouTube too. Thank you for retweeting this, Jairus. Yes, Silent Dad, hello, hello, and thank you for inviting your followers too, Jairus. You're awesome. I would love to learn sign language, and for a while, Spanish, but now I think Arabic might be more useful. But character languages are so intimidating. I feed my brain healthy, organic, nutrient-packed foods. Hey, JJ, what are you doing here? You should be asleep. You should definitely be asleep. 
How come I didn't hear the timer go off? That was weird. Hmm. I don't know. Hey. Okay. Let me read some of your comments now to see what you feed your brain. Shiny says she feeds her brain my scopes. Brennan says he sleeps, exercises, gets things done that needs to be done, take Adderall, drink water, breathe, walk, play guitar. Oh, all these things are so nice and peaceful. Welcome to your first day on Periscope. I got 10 things. All right, Michael, let's hear your 10 things. Also, I take ginkgo biloba from memory. Interesting. And like seven other pills I was studying for a big test. Interesting. How many? Wait, how many? What? It just says what things. It didn't say how many. You're basically an insomniac. Oh. Hello, Sanjay from India. How many did I name? Um, I read and meditate. Read, meditate, yoga, food. Sleep, exercise, do things, Adderall, water, breathe. Wait, did you already say breathe? No, you didn't say breathe. Was breathe 10 or 11? 10, 11, 12. I think 12. 12 or 13 things. I am excellent. JJ, how are you doing today? Play video games. Okay, so I think I pretty much got them all. Hello, Fouad. Awesome, you guys. Thanks for coming into my scope earlier. Wait, you scoped earlier? I didn't even see that. I missed it. I did not even see it. Did I? I don't think I did. Yeah, they're wings. <laughs> it doesn't matter how many things you name. Exactly. You just want to keep writing for three straight minutes. Who it's hot. I know you're gonna I'm gonna reveal my straps now, so I just put these straps on so that you think the wings are fake, but they're not. <laughs> you talked about disability. Interesting, I wish I had been there. Where's the top of my head here, you guys? You write a journal, exercise, basketball, read lightly, look at art, yoga, love. Wow, those are all so many nice things. Okay. I love it. And everyone else can continue sharing. Hey, Brandon, how are you? All right. What are three, so this one does have a number, Brennan. Sis, angel wings are back. They are back. Wings are the new black. The wing straps off? No, they don't come off. I was just joking. <laughs> okay, everybody get your pen and paper ready. What are three of your most profound learning experiences? Where and when did they occur? What are three of your most profound learning experiences? Where and when did they occur? And... Three minutes on the clock, go. Just keep that pen moving. You don't even have to write about this. You can write about something totally different. You got this, keep that pen moving. A minute and a half, you're halfway there, you got this. Keep moving the pen, keep moving it, keep moving it, keep doing it.
42 seconds. Six seconds left. Ooh, this one seemed like it took forever, didn't it? Two seconds. All right, I'm drawing my line. I might have stopped one second early, but it's okay. Finish your thought. Finish what you were writing. Finish your word, your sentence, anything you want. And then if you want to write something in the chat, feel free to do that. I'm going to read mine, and then I'm going to go back and read what I wrote. Hey, Melzor. Okay. Learning experiences. Three... Ah, I can't think of anything on the spot like this. When I had that falling out with the Christian church, that was a mega learning experience. Also, all the politics and philosophy my husband exposed me to, like libertarianism and self-responsibility. Also, probably ties 67 steps. Honestly, I learn stuff constantly. I'm always in a learning experience. And I love it, too. Smiley face and heart. Whoa. Hair is on the way. I've mentioned Ty a lot lately. I should check in with Zach and Sean and maybe Nate. Okay. That's what I wrote. You guys probably don't know what most of that means, but that's what I wrote. You give up? <laughs> Two classes I took in college. Philosophy and Logic which was not what I ever thought by coolest dude. That's awesome, I love that. I'm gonna grab my water while you write the second class in. Wait, where's my water? Are you writing your second class, Shiny? Hi, Daniel, how are you? There it is, Honors Creative Writing, which changed me from my poor education small town to open the world up. Hello, Zahid. That's awesome, Shiny, thank you so much for typing that in the chat. No one else said what theirs were. It was kind of a hard one, I know. I'm doing really good. So, I have something that I think you would like to see. It's a drawing. other room. Crickets, right? All right, so this is a drawing that was done for me by one of my Periscope friends. Hello, future 46er. Oh, hey, are you in upstate New York? I just did a scope of the storm that came through in my last um, broadcast, so. Oh, my hair. It's going to go up in a second. I might as well just put it up. Good evening, Millswar. How are you today? I'm just about to show you guys my new logo that was drawn by one of my friends here on Periscope, Chris. His username is Superman216. Loved when I took classes at a local college from 2010 to a couple years ago. That's awesome. If you want to talk about what kind of classes you took, I would love to hear about it. I'm going to need to go somewhere to have that scanned. Yeah, I know. Where should I go? You're in Poughkeepsie. I do know where Poughkeepsie is. That was where I went to my first ever rock concert. It was Breaking Benjamin. I was in the front row. I got a drumstick and I touched the guitar of the lead singer and like probably him a little bit. I'm not really sure. Marines. Ooh, that was a good one. Learned too much to say. First girlfriend experience. Learned love happens anywhere. Oh, that's sweet. And then my divorce. Wow. Um, and hello, AQB dog. The chance. What do you mean, the chance? So this is the beginning of it. It's, it's huge. It's on like four different full-size sheets of paper, but 
Um, no, I didn't go to college. So, there's the beginning. This is in pink yoga blocks. I actually have one right within reach here. Okay, so it's made out of the yoga blocks. And then E and M. We don't have kinkos around here. The chance is a concert venue. Oh, I'm not sure actually. I was pretty young. I was like 16. My sister brought me. Gonna take some finagling. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Don't tell me that. The M. There's a Y. So that's a headstand. A wide-legged headstand. The O is this beautiful, beautiful lotus flower. Here's the other half of the flower. G and the A is downward facing dog. Business printing, okay. Thank you, Jen. Well, that's it. Pretty cool. Definitely says it, yes. All right, all right, all right. We're, we're having too much fun now. We need to go back to the writing prompts. Our last one, we're powering through these. And then we're going to see how much of the book we can power through as well. So let's get our third prompt down here. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, ready? So if you just got here, we're doing stream of consciousness writing. Get a pen and paper. And then once I give you the prompt, you're going to have three minutes to write anything that you want. You don't even have to write about the prompt. It could be something else. Don't worry about spelling, grammar, swearing. Don't censor yourself. Just go all out. Some of what you bring to the table to offer people's lives. Um, I'm not sure if I fully understood that. I felt some of what you bring to the table to offer people's lives. You feel some of it? Like in a good way, I hope? Oh, with my logo. Awesome. Yay, I love that. I love that. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. Okay. So this writing prompt says, by age 18... The average American has seen 200,000 acts of violence on TV, including 40,000 murders. What is it about television violence that is so compelling to people? So again, by age 18, the average American has seen 200,000 acts of violence on TV, including 40,000 murders. What is it about television violence that is so compelling to people? And I'm going to start the clock right now. So write anything you want. Let's go. Male egos. Wow. <laughs> and I will be getting all the comments. So you can feel free to type it right into the chat if you want. Okay, you're halfway there, a minute and a half left. Thank you for blocking for me, you guys.
One minute left. You got this. Just keep moving that pen. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going.